I'm going to meet Janet Jackson. So get ready with me while I get ready to go meet Janet Jackson. You guys, <laughs> I am so excited, okay? So for as far as I can remember, Janet Jackson has been my absolute favorite artist, like since I was a kid. And so much so that I have a cassette tape with me singing the Control album, the whole thing top to bottom okay like it was karaoke before karaoke and then on the other side of the cassette tape is my dad singing prince's album i don't remember which album but it was just the funniest thing i did it at my dad's house so she's just always been my absolute favorite performer i grew up loving her um she was just the epitome of what a performer was supposed to be in my eyes and i have been to numerous concerts i think this is concert six of mine five or six I don't remember so December 2022 she announced that she was doing her together again tour in 2023 and I remember this like it was yesterday because it was right after my uh, tummy tuck surgery the tickets went on sale I don't know how y'all be talking and doing this at the same time so the tickets went on sale as I was sitting there recovering and I was like you know what I've been to so many Janet Jackson tickets, so many Janet Jackson concerts, and I've never met her. So I'm going to buy a meet and greet ticket. So I bought a meet and greet ticket for May 2023 together again. 2023 comes around, and I get offered a dream trip, like, for work. Absolute dream trip that I have had on my vision board for years, which was a Mediterranean cruise. Shout out to Disney. Do you know that I had to leave the day before the Janet Jackson concert? So, needless to say, I had to make a very hard choice. And when I tell you it was a very hard choice, it was a very hard choice because it was like two of my dream things competing for each other. And it was like, I don't know, I don't know. So ultimately, I made the decision to go on the cruise. If you guys remember, it was an awesome cruise. I made the right decision. Um, it was great. But I had that meant I had to sell my meet and greet ticket. Now, that is not an easy thing to do. But I just so happen to have a friend that loves Janet Jackson just as much as I do. And that friend loved her, loves her so much that she bought the meet and greet ticket. And I was just so grateful. Like, whoo, I finally sold those tickets. I actually had three tickets because um, I was supposed to go with my two uh, two close friends. I had bought them two VIP tickets so we could all be in the VIP area together. But I was sitting by myself because I was in like the fourth or fifth row or something like that. So I sold the meet and greet ticket, tried to sell the VIP tickets because both of them had ended up canceling. Um, couldn't sell those until the last minute and then <laughs> ended up giving them to them, giving the tickets to them and tell me why they ended up meeting Janet Jackson as well. They did not have meet and greet tickets, but they ended up meeting Janet Jackson. And when I tell you I was devastated, devastated. Like I remember <laughs> my best friend sending me the picture of her and Janet as I'm sitting on the cruise at the welcome reception and I literally broke down in tears, like bawling. I think because it just caught me off guard. Like, you know, I had settled the fact that I wasn't gonna meet Janet. I didn't know if this opportunity would ever come back again because most artists don't tour back to back. So I was like, this could be her last tour and I might not ever get a chance to meet Janet Jackson. So, you know, I had already like worked that through my head and I was already a little bit sad. And then I was mad because I couldn't sell the VIP tickets. So I was annoyed by that. I ended up giving it to them. And then when she sent me that picture of her and Janet, I literally just lost it. I was happy for her, but that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> like they did not pay for VIP meet and greet, okay? They were blessed with those tickets and somebody just allowed them to be back there. So it worked out for them. It was awesome, but the news was devastating to me. So fast forward to January of this year, I see that she brings the tour back and I'm like, Lord, are you doing this for me? Because for an artist to do the same tour back to back, to do a meet and greet back to back, the same like one year after another, I feel like that doesn't happen very often. So I bought another meet and greet ticket. Now the kicker is she came to Indianapolis. She was just there last Sunday, but I was originally supposed to be at a uh, vow renewal 
<laughs> and Turks and Caicos that ended up getting canceled. So I didn't buy a meet and greet ticket for home because I was going to be out of town. I was like, you know, at this point, I'm just going to get a meet and greet ticket wherever I can. Because, you know, when the tickets go on sale, it's like, you got to get in there. <laughs> I ended up scoring a Boston ticket, which is why I'm here in Boston. And then <laughs> later on, that vow renewal ended up getting canceled. So I could have went at home, but... You know, things happen. So I'm finally going to meet her after what seems like two years, almost two years of me waiting to meet her, wanting to meet her, being disappointed because I didn't and all of that stuff. See, this is taking me too long. I don't know how y'all be doing y'all makeup and telling stories at the same time because it just slows me down, okay? It's like I forget what I'm supposed to be doing or it takes me extra long because I'm trying to concentrate on the story and the makeup. So anyway, that is how I got to this point, which is today, I'm going to meet Janet Jackson in Boston. I'm super excited to see the concert again because I did go last year. Me and hubby, we did go. We went in Nashville because I was not missing the tour. I was like, if I can't meet her, I still need to go to the concert and it was great. So I am really looking forward to seeing her again and seeing Nelly. Um, this will probably be my, I think this is my first time seeing him. So yeah, that's the story. Let me show you the outfit. So I made the commitment to not shop for this trip. Okay. I was like, I'm shopping my closet. I'm just going to pull everything I have out of the closet. I mean, I did buy my shoes. That was the one thing because I needed some better sandals. But everything else has been in my closet, okay? So what do you think? I don't know where I got this from, but I've had it for like five or six years. Probably like a Marshalls or TJ Maxx. It was somewhere like that. I really don't remember, but I feel like it's perfect, right? Super cute. I have just a Target like black tank under and then these Abercrombie shorts. They are stonewashed black, but I like the look. I don't. I did try it on with like solid black, but I think this gives it just a little bit of edge. So I went with the stonewash, and yeah, like I said, Steve Madden sandals, super cute, goes with all of the gold detailing. And oh, let me show you my bag. Bought these bags off Amazon. These belt bags. They have the small ones or this size. This size was a little too big because it's just it's just not functional like it needs to be. My phone doesn't even barely fit in there. So I'm like, if I'm going to be holding my phone anyway, let me just wear the smallest one. You can make it as tight as you want, but you can also wear it as like a crossbody if you wanted to. All right, so here's the look. Final look, let me know what you think. Does it look like I'm getting ready to go meet Janet Jackson? I am so excited. Y'all just don't understand. I'll keep you posted and I'll talk to y'all later.